So I will show you uh, how to model this PIF antenna in FICO. Um, this PIF antenna basically it's uh, we have three strips. Um, I'm using this um, zero thickness uh, strips because it's easier to simulate than uh, we are using wires, cylindr cylindrical wires. Um, this uh, PIF antenna here has a short, which is this guy here, and it's got this um, this exciter strip here, and the excitation is, is done by this wire here. This wire here, um, as you can see here, it has port, and this port is connected to a voltage source, 50 ohm voltage source. So basically what I'm going to do is something like this. Uh, the ground plane defined by xx box and yy box and the this length here is l1 this is the height and this parallel parallel to the ground plane strip is l2 and this l3 controls the impedance the closer we get here um, the closer we get to a short circuit and the excitation is done by this wire as i sh just shown and it's a uh, defined by a, dif a distance called gap. Um, the, the W variable describes the, the width of this uh, strips. We will start here, a new model. So first thing we do, we define the variables. Variables are L1, 20 millimeters, L2, 50 millimeters, L3, 20 millimeters. W is 5 millimeters what's missing gap i said it was 2 millimeters and the ground plane size x x box is 20 centimeters and y y box 0.1 as you can see here all the units are defined by using the unit here as meters so create uh, we just jump to the rectangle and we define using this option here the ground plane x x box and y y box here create as you can see here this is the yellow the typical yellow color that says um it's a uh, made of metal lossless metal we don't need to worry about the materials in FICO. Everything by default is defined as metal. Um, now we are going to create this. This is the, the exciter. The exciter, we go to rectangle. The rectangle I'm going to define here right on the center of the ground plane. So as you can see here, the, the, the way it's the, is defined, the rectangle is a 2D structure, so it's going to be across this uh, plane here. So we need to, to flip this plane. Let's see, not this, there we go. That's the way we have to design our thing here, our exciter. Um, we select this thing here, I think it's easier. And now we can, des now we can design our origin our, our origin starts at gap, right, at gap, and we go along the V, this distance, the V orientation here is, is, is defined by the D variable here, it's a little bit complex in the beginning, but if you make a mistake, you just correct, there's, there's no big deal, you just see how it works on the uh, on, online on the, your drawing. So here is zero. This is the V, um, the center of our, of, our, of our exciter. If you see here, our exciter has L1 minus gap. This is the complete distance here, L1 minus gap. So the center is going to be L1 minus gap over two. So the center is along the V, uh, 0.5 times L1 minus gap. You see here, it's here is the, the center point. Um, our W, which is this distance here, is along the U. Where is our U? U is here, so our U, of course, is W. And our D, depth, here is supposed to be L1 minus gap. L1 minus gap. See? 
It sounds a little bit uh, uh, complicated at the beginning, but I, I think this is just one way to do it. There are many other ways to do it. The, the, the reason I'm doing this way is because I want to make it consistent to run a parameter strip or to run an optimization afterwards. I'm going to, I'm going, I will show you what I'm, I mean by that. So create. Now we do our short, our short here. This is the short. This is the thing here. What you are going to do, it's not oriented in the right way. We have to switch it. There we go. It's correct. Right? It's correct. So it starts at x. A distance of x is L3, as you can see here. So our x, our origin is L3. You see? L3. We have to take this here to start from the center, define it. Um, our center here is u minus l1 over l1 over 2, you see? And our w here is along the u, right? Our w is along the u, and u here for us is like this. So our w here is l1, and of course our d has to be our thickness the width of our short there we go the short is connected to the ground plane now we do the last part the last part is this thing here um this strip here is defined as a rectangle it's correct you see it's aligning this this thing along along this plane so we just need to tell our thing that it starts at the origin starts at x of l3 you see what happens and our geometry is supposed to start at um, u at minus l2 over 2 you, why i'm doing this l2 is this thing the center is here l2 over 2 l2 over 2 and now what's missing is um, our width our w here is across the u and our u here is l2 you don't, as i said you don't need to worry that much about this the, the definition here you just type in and if something is wrong you just correct it uh, on the fly so let's say if i have done this okay i did i know it's wrong i just need to switch it it's no big deal fico does it automatically for you on, on the fly, you see? The only thing we need to correct is, the, is our n. Our n is supposed to be L1. Why is that? Because according to our drawing, this is the height, L1, and then it's done, create. The last thing we need to do is just the line. The line is very easy. You just go from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, gap. Oops, something went wrong. There was this zero here. Okay, you see, everything is done. Just because I defined the wire, I just right click, create port, wire port, start. That's the position where your SMA connector or your N connector is going to be attached. Create. And it's very easy to forget. It's always good to, as soon as possible, create the voltage source. You attach the voltage source to the port. It can be a, a load. In the case of a plane wave excitation, it doesn't matter for for in, for our purposes. It's we are going to make we are going to analyze this antenna in terms of S11, so it has to be a voltage source. So um, what's missing? A very important step in FICO. You have to tell FICO that all these metallic parts are connected um, here in construct union. There we go, it's done. Um, what's the frequency range we are going to use? Um, the frequency, th this PIF antenna actually is just a simple uh, monopole antenna that was bent towards the ground plane. So the, this L1 plus L2 has to be more or less lambda over 4. For our purposes, um, it's going to be around uh, on 1.5 gigahertz from our dimensions that we took here, um, we consider here. So we tell FICO that we have a frequency between 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz, let's say 51 points. And finally, under mesh, I'm going to say that's 1 millimeter 
half a millimeter wire segment radius. You see here the mesh. The mesh tells us that our dimensions are correct. We are not. We don't have a much a very a very fine mesh without without need. So everything is set. We just need to run it. Just give it a name. I would call it V2. Okay. Actually, I'm going to stop it. I forgot the requests. I request current and I request the far field. Far field, it's this ball here. I just, I like to hide it. And now I can run. Sorry for this mistake here. As you can see, FICO is very quick. It's very, it runs very fast. If your structure is based on metal and if you're using a method of moments, it's amazing how fast FICO runs. Now we go to post FICO and let's check our structure in terms of S11. And it opens automatically with here. I, I had from the, the previous simulation, I just do it again here. I create a Cartesian and just drag and drop the voltage source. As you can see here, voltage source reflection coefficient, the S11. I just ask for a dB. You see, you can see what happens here around 1.5 gigahertz as predicted. Um, our, I'm going to delete it just to show how it's done. I just need to drag and drop the far field here. It's ugly because it's linear. I just click on DB and by selecting 1.5 gigahertz, we can see what happens. That's our gain, the antenna gain, the PIF antenna gain 5 dB. Of course, if you this is everything is based on our dimensions on our ground plane size um, and, and this is very nice to see the currents as well I'm just drag and drop the currents I just hide the far fields this is the currents I can see the current animation which is very useful for getting insights how your structure is operating um, you see here this is 1.448 gigahertz Actually, it's wrong. I just go select here currents, dB, normalize, phase. You see here how important the ground plane size is because you have a, a kind of a high amplitude um, currents on, on the ground plane. I have made some tests when I made a very small ground plane. The results are lousy. It, it becomes a lousy antenna once you have a very small ground plane. Anyways. And that's that's the way uh, you get you you can analyze your results. It's there's plenty of things to do in post fico. I just want to show you what's the reason why I have done all the computations because I want to do this. Um, let's suppose I want to make a test instead of the gap. Let's see what can you see L3 instead of two millimeters instead of two centimeters. Let's make it one centimeter. So what I'm gonna do here is you see automatically the whole structure adjusted it i mean the structure was made was con was modeled in such a way that the model is consistent i don't have any any parts missing or when any any unconnected part because that's because we have built the antenna in that way so i just need to change here the variable the whole structure adjust by them by, by itself um we can run for instance a perimeter sweep here um, application macro uh, parameter sweep let's say it, it complains it's not saved um, application macro parameter sweep let's say let's tell for instance L3 from our design here from our drawing here L3 we are going to L3 from 1.1 to 1 centimeter to 2 centimeters to samples i think that's fine fico is going to do it for us we don't need to worry about it as long as our structure is consistent we don't need to care about anything else fico is going to deliver the results to us it asks if you want if we want to run the post fico i just type in y yes and then all the results are going to pop up in post fico i just type in next I don't care about this. They, it's merging the results in just one single file. All right. Close it. And then I have post FICO here. 
just Cartesian, and I can uh, drag and drop a voltage source sweep here twice, and when I say it's over two, you see the results are shown here for S11. I just want to see in the B. That's what ha that's what happens when we get closer to the short circuit. We have a smaller resonant frequency. I can see that on amplitude, and I can also see with the Smith chart. Just delete this thing. Here, voltage source. That's the one guy. That's the second guy. L two centimeters. You see what happens as you move our structure close to. You see, I'm still a little bit away from 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 50 ohm. There's still some uh, optimizing to do, but that's the way we create our model. We can, if you make your model consistent, then we can do all sorts of optimization and also um, parameter sweeps. Thank you.